Hello students. Today we will be learning chapter 6 which is plants preparing and storing foods. What will we be discussing here? We will be discussing question and answers from this chapter. So let us immediately start. First question is tick the correct answer. And in that the first one is the main vein of a leaf carries the options are chlorophyll, oxygen, food. So, what is the correct answer? Can you guess? The correct answer is food. Okay, so let us tick mark food. Okay, so main vein of a leaf carries food. Next question. Air enters a plant through the stomata on its dash. The options are leaves, flowers, stem. So, what is the correct answer over here? The correct answer is leaves. Okay, so let us tick mark leaves. So, in plants, just like human beings, just like any other animal, they also need air to breathe. Okay, so they breathe this through stomata. So, leaves is a correct answer. Next question. Which of the following is a non-green plant? The options are cactus, croton, neem. What do you think is the correct answer? Right. Croton is a non-green plant. Then next question. Removing the green pigment in a leaf is called photosynthesis, bleaching, breathing. So what do we call this removing the green pigment? It is a chemical process which we call as breathing. So let us take mark bleaching okay not breathing it is bleaching okay next question which program helps to save trees options are vanamohotsav project tiger operation flood what is the correct answer vanamohotsav okay vanamohotsav is a program which helps to save trees then fill in the blanks well in filling the blanks, the first question is, the presence of a substance called dash makes a leaf green. What is the answer to this question? The answer is chlorophyll. Second question, the process by which food is prepared in plants is called dash. And what is the answer? Photosynthesis. Okay, photosynthesis is a process by which food is prepared in plants. Next question. Dash are openings on the underside of a leaf. What is the answer? Stomata. Fourth question. Molds and dash are non-green plants. Mushrooms. Okay. So, these are non-green plants. Actually, it comes under a different family. It is called as a fungi group. Okay. Animals need food to eat and dash to breathe. What do we need? We need oxygen to breathe. So animals need food to eat and oxygen to breathe. Okay. So all the animals, not only human beings, all the animals that you see around you need oxygen to breathe. Just like they need food to eat. Okay. Let us see next. Write short answers. So this is a question. What do green leaves need to produce food? What do green leaves need to produce food? Here you will write. Green leaves need air, water and sunlight to prepare food. Okay, I will repeat. Green leaves need air, water and sunlight to prepare food. From where do leaves get energy for preparing food? Okay, from where do leaves get energy? You will write. Leaves get energy from sun for preparing food. Okay, third question. In what form is extra food stored in plants? Here you will write, extra food is stored in the form of starch in plants. Fourth question, name the part of a cactus plant that prepares food for plant. Here you will write, food is made in the green stem of a cactus. Okay to prepare food for plants. Remember that cactus do not have any leaves. So they have to make use of their stems for preparing food. Okay. So 
Next is leaves of croton appears dark red. Do these leaves have chlorophyll? The answer is yes, it has chlorophyll, but the red pigments present in leaves hide the green chlorophyll. They are quite dominant, these red pigments. Okay, so they appear red. Then we have long answers. Answer these questions. How would you show that green leaf has a starch in it? Here you will write. Pick a fallen green leaf of a healthy plant, bleach the leaf by first boiling it in water and then boiling it in alcohol. Wash it in cold water. Then add few drops of iodine. When we add iodine to the bleached leaf, it turns blue-black. This shows that starch is present in a green leaf. So very simple process. You have to first boil the leaf, then in a water. And then in alcohol, then you have to keep it in a cold water and add few drops of iodine. So once you do this, it turns blue black. This shows that it has starch present in it. Okay. Next, write the functions of the stomata. What you will write? On the underside of a leaf are tiny pores called stomata. During photosynthesis, a leaf takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen and water vapor through stomata. So here I have shown this picture of a stomata. When you see it under microscope, you will see this tiny pores in the leaf. Okay, these are called stomata. Third question, how do plants use their food? Here you write, the food is used in number of different ways by plants. It is used to get energy. Some of it is used for growth. And then extra food is stored in the form of starch in leaves, stems or roots. We eat that part of a plant which has food stored in it. So whatever food we eat, remember that starch is present in it, which gives us energy. And that starch is actually a saved food by plants. Okay. Fourth question. How is energy from sun passed on to other animals. Here you will write, green plants trap the sun's energy during photosynthesis to prepare food. This energy is passed on to humans and animals when they eat the plants. This way energy flows from sun to plants and then to animals and human beings. Okay. Then fifth question, how do plants without chlorophyll survive? Here you will write, the plants without chlorophyll get their food from dead and decaying plants and animals. You can uh, see fungi groups like mushrooms, for example. Mushrooms do not have any chlorophyll in them. They just survive on dead and decaying plants. Okay. Then a last question. Balance between plants and animals is essential. Why? Here you will write a sudden increase or decrease in the number of Either plants or animals will disturb the balance in nature. For example, if there is a sudden increase in the number of animals, plants may not be able to supply enough food and oxygen to all the animals. To maintain this balance in nature, we have to protect both plants and animal life. Okay. Well, students, that was all from my side. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can put your comments in comment box. Thank you for attending this session. See you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.